Hello everyone, this is Pop Potsy here, and we are back in our Let's Play world today, outside of the mines. So, in case you've forgotten, we just escaped those freaky mines. <laughs> we were down there forever, basically trapped. So now we've got like a hundred plus of these coals. We've got a bit of, of gold and some iron. So we're gonna get some of this stuff smelting so we can expand on some things. But first, before we do that, what I was thinking was maybe we'll knock out some more of this wall because I think back here. We could use this to be more of a uh, some sort of storage or a kitchen area where we can cook things. Uh, that's sort of an idea. So uh, obviously we can do whatever we want. I haven't thought through exactly what we should do, but we definitely do need a storage area, and we should probably get an area where we can um, smelt things more efficiently and more of them. So that's kind of why I was thinking, oh, let's just let's just chip out this wall a little bit more, you know, because we'd already started over here. And we just hadn't finished the job really because we have so many things we've been doing you know the, the jobs never really end which is why the game is so awesome because we can keep building and doing cool things um and that's why we need to get going here on this on this part of the world the thing is the reason i'm putting things on halt i should say uh the other stuff the farming and everything is because i figure you know what i'm pretty safe in here and really for the functions of minecraft like it, everything in our world basically we need to have a storage you know we need to have a place we can organize all the stuff we're gathering and we, we've gathered so much i feel like we're just we're taking way too long to actually uh you know do something with the stuff we have with all these resources then also i had another random idea that was seemed like a genius plan but i don't know it's it's uh to make a castle on top of the mountain i don't know why i thought of this but i did and I can't get it out of my brain and I keep thinking man I, I gotta do it like that's gotta be awesome you know putting a mountain on top of the on top of the or a mountain sorry a castle on top of the mountain I mean that what, what is cooler than that you know not much and I already know how to build awesome castles so and I think we could do it and you know what else the best thing about this is the fact that we're gonna have loads and loads and loads of cobblestone because look at this I mean we've chipped the inside of a mountain out so if we keep carving out the inside we're gonna have so much cobblestone and it's gonna be so easy to actually put up a castle and I'll probably just build the castle out of cobblestone I think that looks the most casual like I mean I guess you could use brick stones but that would take forever to process those and we don't have nearly enough coal to be doing that sort of thing so we can start looking for uh, placement for where the castle goes and of course the castle you know we can have it be part of this of this house sort of we can have it be its own thing I mean it's really you know up to us of course and uh, you know there's a few ideas I have specifically about how to implement it within the mountain itself and there's always that we could always you know make the castle part of the mountain we can either put it on top or we could build it out of the mountain you know have parts of it coming out and parts of it inside of the mountain I think that that would also be really cool and to have it do that would be interesting because we could have you know half or three quarters of the of the actual castle in this mountain completely embedded in it and then we could have doors going out from within the castle in the mountain going out through the mountain you know and have different pathways and things and, and access to the mines and different entry points there but you know those are just some ideas I've been having about it most those things actually came from when I wasn't playing the game I just kind of you know sometimes I just think about it <laughs> I don't know why I just randomly throughout the day I just think of ideas and things sometimes and then sometimes they're disgusting these ideas are really dumb but this one actually seemed like a good one that I think you guys would like and I also was thinking about doing a download today um I'm not sure if I'm going to it's not like it's not even that it's hard. I just haven't decided if I should do it yet. It just doesn't. I just don't know if the world is is developed enough to be, you know, creating a download. I don't. I don't know. Just, I just don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. And so I may put that a little bit longer. I feel like if I had a really big project that was completely done, I feel like maybe it would be different. I'd be like, okay, you guys, you you can have you can have the download, you know, because it might be useful, because it might be kind of cool. But right now basically you've got a half chipped out mountain that isn't even finished you've got a half finished farm a half finished you know um reserve for the animals i mean none of it's really done so that's kind of why i was like eh you know what oh this, this shows us how far down it goes so we've got that much space we could work with in this particular spot now we've gathered loads of stone of course but I think we could probably start to kind of hammer down where we want the castle's part to go because we could start building that as well as we go because we're going to be collecting so much of this stone. Let's go here and make sure there's not a creeper. You know, I'm going to place a torch here. I feel like this is that is the these are the right here. This is the creeper hatcheries. They always spawn right here. So 
this mountain is very big, obviously. And so choosing something like this, well, it's not exactly easy. You know, there's, there's so many different places we could choose and so many elements to this that I, I haven't thought through. So that's what we're gonna think through real quick. And we're gonna, we're gonna put down a few blocks and decide where we want it to go. And then I'm gonna build it and I'm gonna do it completely. And it's gonna be great. It really, it's gonna be sweet. So what about a place like this, you know, right here? It's like, well, but then it's kind of hidden on the other side. It, you'd almost want it to be viewable from every angle, you know, around this mountain. But maybe we don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we just want it to be in this corner segment like I'm talking about. You know? It's really hard to say. You know, you, know, you kind of have to choose. Oh my gosh, sorry. I can't, I can't even, I can't even get up these today. Wow. Okay. Let's hope we can make it all the way. Okay, I'm going to place a cobble. Get up here. Okay. So now we're sort of on top. I mean, the mountain never really ends. I mean, you can see it's it, it, that, that's all sort of mountainish. I mean, we're kind of up here, but this might be a nice place to do it. You know, we could even build it above. It could even be floating sort of right here and then be connected to this part and also over here. You know, it, it's like there's so many different ways that would be so cool. And every single one of them has their own unique pros and cons to it. I don't know if we'd want to cover this whole area in a castle but we certainly could do something with the mountain and a castle you know I mean we can't have a, a mountain like this and not use this kind of an opportunity to build a monstrous castle you know it's got to be there has to be one and it's got to be decent size it can't be some tiny little thing or else it's dumb we gotta make something really cool and I just I just can't think of where 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 and you know what I'm thinking we like I said before, I mean, we could do a half embedded castle and have it sort of a you know sticking out of this mountain, and that that's of course an option. But you know we have we have to think about this first. We've got to think about this. What if it went down here? You know, it was like part of this area, this corner. That may be kind of cool. I don't know. Part of me just feels like that might be not. You know, it just might be too too. Um, Concealed, I guess you might say. It, it might be too concealed. We don't want to. We don't want to build an awesome-looking huge castle, you know, and then have it be in some lame area that's so concealed we can never see it. You know, that, that's the thing I'm worried about when it comes to doing it that way. So, let's go to sleep, though. It's basically not. Oh no, there's monsters. Monsters? What would a monster be? They were. I just came inside. They're definitely not out here. What? Oh, oh, there's a spider. What the junk is like stuck in there? Okay, well, okay. Well, th th I guess we're, we're fixed with that now. Let's go to sleep and take it easy and just keep thinking about this. And I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna start something, you know? I'm not gonna think about this too much longer because then we spend most of our time thinking instead of actually doing something. And that's not what we wanna do. So, that part was gonna be a lookout kind of a thing. And you know, I guess we could potentially build it on the ground but like I said that's kind of dumb I mean I don't feel like that's a fun a fun way of doing this you know it just seems kind of yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know we got to build the farm the farm is still going right there so this is the mountain Ooh, what if we had to come out of this part the thing is if it's a completely you know if most of it's internal if most of the castles internal you know that, that's lame as well that's just gonna look stupid we could turn the whole mountain into a castle but that would be absolute insanity <laughs> but i guess we could do it you know it would work you know we, we put the little posts on the outsides and stuff like that we could shape the whole mountain in some humongous castle that's kind of a cool idea it would take 20 years but it's kind of a cool idea anyway i don't know we'd have to we definitely have to do some shaping because the mountain is you know, rather natural looking. It doesn't look like a mountain. I mean, I mean it looks like a mountain. It doesn't look like a big uh, square or rectangular shape that we could really work with just by default. We definitely have to make some modifications. But, but you know, that's fine. Of course, that's, that's, that's the game is modifying the blocks and making things look cool. So, I'm going to go around this side real quick and just kind of um, look around so we can get a better idea. Oh, that's that. I forgot about that floating thing. The pig was still there. The pig was there before, I swear. I remember there being a pig on a floating thing over here. It must be him. Oh my gosh, that's funny. He's still, he's just chilling. Just chilling. Chilling my pillin, with my bacon. All right, so over here is mm, the less mountainy. This is where we're gonna bring some of our animals from because we've got so many random things out here and it's kind of more plainish you know plains plains ish 
planes, but you know, the animals spawn on there a little bit more often, usually on a plane as opposed to just something else. So, um, but yeah, we'll just keep this in mind and I'll, I'll keep reading. Oh gosh, dang it. I, I gotta stop this. I'm gonna get so hurt. I've already only got five hearts, man. I've got to be careful. All right. So, oh my gosh, I just said to be careful and then I break my legs some more. Okay, it's because of the sprinting. I'm, I'm getting confused. So anyway, I'll just keep up to date on the comments. And you guys, basically, just based on what I just showed you, I showed you guys around a little bit, and you guys have already seen a little bit. But anyway, uh, you guys just basically tell me in the comments what you'd like to see. You know, where, where should the castle go? I'm not going to choose. You guys choose. Do you want it to be, you know, the castle be completely exposed on top? Do you want it to be half exposed on the side? Do you want it to be completely internal within the actual mountain itself? Do you want me to turn the whole mountain into a castle? You guys just choose, and I'll read the comments, and I will basically take the comments to heart and, and, and do one of the things you guys say. So, you guys go ahead and, and think about that a little bit. But no pressure. You know, if you don't want to choose, that's fine. We don't, we don't need to choose right now. I'm going to keep digging this through a little bit because... We have other things we can be doing. I just thought, you know what? I'm getting so much cobblestone. I should probably use some of it to our advantage right now and build something, you know? Build something cool. And castles are cool. Everybody likes castles, you know? That's the thing about them. We could do something awesome with a castle. And I am I think that the castle design, one of the ones I did that was medium, small sized. I think it took 10,000 cobble blocks or something like that. It was, it was a few, but... You know, it's really not that many, I guess, when you think about it. But, you know, we're going to keep mining, though. And when we do the mob trap, if we do a mob trap soon, those things yield loads of this stuff. Like, we're going to have, we'll have cobblestone for life. So, that's also a, an, a, an opportunity and a, something we can consider as well. Because if I do that, I'll get diamonds and, and iron, iron, stone, all that stuff. You know what? Let's start the entrance for that. Let's get the entrance going. Because that's something that we can do at any time. And we can kind of go back and forth on it. And it, it, it just won't be that hard to do. So let's choose where we want it to go. I wouldn't mind the entrance being something accessible. Like over here on this wall or something like that. I don't know. I, it really, It's not a huge deal to me anyway. But it'll be completely well lit and everything. So there won't be any, any dangers as far as monsters go. They won't be able to come through this. This will just be an access point for us to go down below into the lovely uh underworld basically so i'm gonna dig this out just kind of make it look kind of um coolish and then we'll start digging down right here so if you guys don't know what a mob trap is basically oh it looks like we've got some some empty area so what we do when you have this you just kind of surround it in cobblestone and keep your path going oops not supposed to cover that um so uh, a mob trap basically you design them to capture mobs uh bad evil mobs typically i mean this is going to be a, a bad mob trap it's going to be dark so that the critters will spawn like um creepers skeletons spiders anything like that um and basically you trap them and cr create a blade a lava blade that, that will kill the animals or the creatures rather and it will send their items down a water path and gather for you so you can go and collect them and in doing this, you've got to create a very, very, very large area. And by doing that, of course, you're gathering lots and lots of cobblestone. And not only that, when you get low to the ground, that's the other part I didn't mention, I'm going to be building it very, very low, uh, close to bedrock. And so because of this, it is guaranteed, because of how many diamonds spawn per chunk in the Minecraft world, it is guaranteed you will get diamonds. And I have not had an experience yet where I didn't get lots of them. Every time I do this... I get loads and loads of diamonds. So that's the other part about this that makes it nice. We're going to be gaining tons and tons of access to resources. We're going to have an infinitely spawning amount of these mobs and their resources. So we'll have arrows, uh, feathers, gunpowder, bombs. Oh, bombs is a very important thing because bombs we can use to blow out the mountain and get it clear for us so we can build more stuff, you know, because, you know, we, we need cobblestone, so obviously we have to mine, but if we're going to mine out a huge trap, we're going to have so much stone from that that I think it'll be okay for us to use TNT to bomb the mountain and get some of that cleared. So we're already hitting a couple of random veins of these resources, so that's nice. We should get some of that on the way, but, you know, obviously that's not a big deal because when we get to the bottom, we're going to have access do way 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 more than we're gonna find on the way down so redstone all that stuff's really prevalent down there the only negative thing about doing it close to bedrock is that typically um you oh my gosh my my um 
Our pickaxe is almost broken. We're gonna have to go back. Shoot. Oh, well, there it is. Um, the only bad thing about... Oh, and I, I, will I will remove these blocks, by the way, because I know your, your head hits on a lot of them. But I just... Usually when I get the initial path created, we kind of just do the basics that you have to do to get down there. Um, oh, did I... Oh, wow. Oh, that's a huge fail. <laughs> I don't know how I failed that bad. Okay. Anyway, let's craft up another pickaxe here. Do we not have enough... We don't have enough iron on us. Let's grab a few... Uh, ingots here and cr wait I have three right there what oh I didn't have sticks that's what it was all right let's unload some stuff because we're, we're our chest is or our oh wow I blocked off my own <laughs> I can't even remove it I don't have a pickaxe oh my gosh that is so dumb okay let's move some stuff into here so we got golds we've got some iron ores and wait I have 42 sticks oh my gosh you guys it wasn't showing I swear it was not showing I just I just check okay whatever and we're going we're going back down we're going back down to finish what we started okay so the bad thing I was saying the only bad thing about doing this um, down close to bedrock is that bedrock near bedrock at least lots of lava spawns and because of this it can become very dangerous to be down there uh, mining because you can burn the fortunate thing is because of we're doing flat ground and making a trap burning is unlikely Oh, well, burning to death, rather, is very unlikely because of that. So, I'm going to take these down a couple of blocks. We actually messed up the whole... You know what? It's not worth it. Look how many I dug. I've got to either adjust by one for every one of those blocks, or I can just adjust it this way. I can dig these one more. I might just do this. Okay, that, that's a better idea. Uh, I kind of thought no, because I, I don't have a whole lot of room up here to work with right now, because I've only got that, but that's okay. We're good. So now, yes, this is looking nice. So now we've got some nice headroom. Our head's not going to bonk on every single one of these these blocks here. I'm going to double check and make sure we've got one block. Okay, one block per stair. We don't want to double block it or else we're going to do the same thing again. Um, I don't know how far away we are from bedrock because I, I do know that we started this in a mountain. And mountains are, you know, obviously less close to the, the bedrock than normal land because we're so high up in the air. But I can't imagine it goes on forever, you know. It's got to be relatively close to now. Um, but we'll just keep we'll just keep digging until we get there, you know. Not a big deal. Not very hard. We also got to be careful around this um, this gravel business. All right, let's get a shovel. Oh, I've got one up right here. All right. Dig this. Remove gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Gravel's actually nice to dig through like this because it goes very fast. It's much faster than digging actual blocks with a pickaxe you know that's the only nice thing about it but at the same time gravel's not very useful it's you know it's it's obviously far less useful in a typical sense than the stone so that's the bad thing about that but all right this stuff i think is diorite or something yeah something like that i don't know i don't really use that stuff but i know it is useful i know it's oh geez guys it's it's doing that it's doing the sneaking thing sorry <laughs> my guy got stuck on the block because it was sneaking well it was trying to sneak anyway all right, block. Keep digging through. I wonder how close we are. I mean, we've gone, we've gone a ways. We've definitely come down quite a ways. And if I knew the coordinates, they don't, they don't really allow you to look at coordinates right now in Pocket Edition. And I don't know why. I saw one of the developers tweet though that they're not going to add cheats, so to speak, which would be apparently what they consider having access to coordinates and all that information. I don't know why they consider that cheating, but regardless, it's kind of hard to know. How much further you gotta go if I don't have access to my coordinates? So there's probably a mod that you can actually check the coordinates. I don't really know. I know the game tracks it. I know the game actually knows where you are coordinate-wise, but it just doesn't tell you when you do this stuff. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But the nice thing about that too, though, that page that shows you your coordinates on the PC version also shows you how much CPU usage it's using. You know, it gives you a bunch of detailed stats about your device, your computer, on how it's doing. With running Minecraft, so that's the nice thing about that too. I wonder how close we've got to be close by now. We've gone forever. See, every time I break a block like that, it's like one step down, one step down, one step down. You know, we get we get very close. Better out can't be that far away. That's all I wanted to get done for today. We just need to get down to bedrock and officially be there. I'm gonna leave this main part of the coal here for now because I'm not gonna worry about uh, digging every single block up the stairway, but eventually we will we'll redo it. Okay, this is good. So we're seeing some gold. Gold means that we're very deep. 
which means we're very close. Oh, I can't even hold them. What? Really? Shoot. I'm already out of space. All right, we'll throw some of these planks. We only got five planks in that slot. Uh, that means that we're very close to the bedrock because gold only spawns close to bedrock. You have to be deep. And if we see lapis lazuli and redstone and those things, we know we're even closer than we initially thought. So, you know, I can't imagine that we could go more than 20 more blocks down without being at bedrock. It's, it's got to be at least that soon because I don't, I don't know the exact numbers now. I used to read the wiki a lot more when I first got into PC Minecraft, but things were a little bit different with Pocket Edition because Pocket Edition didn't have certain things for a while. But um, I'm not so sure how many blocks down it is that these golds begin to spot. I'll just eat this steak because the steak, I need the steak anyway. So perfect. There we go. We got more slots now. Um, but I, it, it seems like it's around 20. Oh, there we go. I said I couldn't imagine. That was a good guess. Good guess indeed. So now we're here. We're at the bottom. And now that we know that, and obviously some places it'll go down a little bit lower, but we don't want to go all the way down. And I'll explain that later when we actually begin to use some of this. But I, I need to dig some of these blocks up. Just one, because we don't want to be smacking our head every time we come down here. That That is so annoying when people create <laughs> small tunnels, you know. You just want to die when you're going down. You're like, why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this to me? It's cruel. It's evil. So we're going to we're gonna break these out. We're going to break them all out. And this trap, you guys, is going to be a beast. I'm serious. It's going to be so awesome. I think I'm sneaking again. Am I sneaking? I'm sneaking. Okay, there we go. I got it undone. <laughs> all right. So we'll just keep... Wait, am I not picking these up? Oh my gosh, whatever. We'll come back later. We don't want to waste all the cobblestone by digging it and having it disappear. Look at this. Do you see what I'm talking about? Boom, 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 boom. It drives me crazy. Crazy. Oh, look at that. Guys, we're going to need to build a rail system for this. No question. This is insane. We, we, can't, we can't walk up and down this every time to get down to the mobster trap. This is insane. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to create a mini cap down there because this that is that is crazy how deep this goes. And I like I said, I mean we're in a mountain, so I couldn't really expect it to be a short little jaunt down there, but that's crazy. I don't think I realized how far I was gonna actually go. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well in the next video, I guess we'll start looking into crafting up some rails. And what we'll do is we'll we'll break another another aisle down so we can have a rail go this way, but also have just the normal steps. But Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We've got some great ideas boiling. Be sure to go down in the comments, and if you've got time, tell me and uh, where you suggest the castle to go, or if we shouldn't even have a castle, and that sort of thing. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.